All right, guys, so here's a quick little um, thing before the video starts. Um, please stay tuned for some videos. I know I haven't been making any. I just I haven't been motivated. My camera hasn't came yet that I ordered, and I'm getting frustrated because it's a pretty expensive one. Um, and once I get that, I'll be more motivated. But here's a glove I am looking at uh, bidding on. It's a Pro Preferred 11 and 3 quarter inch glove. I decided to show you guys some of my ideas to get so I can get some more reviews out there for you guys. I want to still cycle through gloves and review them for you guys, let you know, because I want to help out all the younger generation um, with what gloves to get. Because when I was younger, I never knew because the YouTube thing wasn't really there. But uh, yeah, the binding's pretty bad. I feel like this could be a cool restoration project for us, for the channel. I can show you guys how to relace a glove. I can show you how I condition it, how to store it, how to, uh, you know, cut out half the padding or put padding in. I want to get a glove for that. I feel like that'd be a really cool series. Let me know down below if you think that'd be cool and what glove you think I should do it on. Um, now I play third base for softball. You guys know it's a hot corner. Um, I play third base for baseball. Don't really pitch much anymore. Just really third base. It's my spot. Um, and sp I spot outfield. I play in the outfield once in a while. So I feel like this would be a cool glove, especially be good for softball, and it'd be fun to restore and use. Because the inside, you can see there, it doesn't look too used at all. It's not cracking. It looks like it's only really cracking, like maybe right down in here, and then up here on the binding, which is not bad at all. I mean the the lining looks pretty good and it seems to be in pretty good condition um, see that like the inside looks pretty good so yeah let me know what you guys think of a, like a project glove that's a nice pro preferred I'm watching I don't want to buy anything too new because it's not fun reviewing a new glove the only glove I want that's new is this glove right here I'm sure I'll pick it up here before you know before we get snow so I can use it a little bit it's the Ben Zobrist pro preferred 11 and 3 quarter I will be getting that one uh, it just depends on how much how much hours I work to order it because I do have bills, you know, I'm in college now, and it sucks. I will be doing a Q&A answering a lot of stuff. So any 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 questions you guys have with college or whatever, leave them down below, and I'll definitely answer them in the Q&A. I will take comments off of the last couple of videos. But, like, I like this one too, but it's just not old enough to do a restoration. This one would be cool, but it's too much money for what it is. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think for that Pro Preferred, um, that 11 3 quarter inch one up here as like a restoration project glove and I will still cycle through gloves to review my brother still trades and um, I don't trade but I will buy some starting up here because I want to get some good videos out there but this winter is going to be jam packed with hockey videos on the channel guys just to get stuff out there I mean in the winter it's not you can't do baseball in Minnesota in the winter especially where I have where I'm at there's no indoor facilities um, I mean I mean you can go here to 8000s but I, I kind of want to do like a pro preferred, a really high quality glove for a restoration project. Uh, yeah, there's just nothing really worth my time, <laughs> to be quite honest. I feel like a Casper would be pretty cool. It's just, it's kind of a harder glove to restore and it's really expensive. But a Casper would be, why did I click 8,000? <laughs> a Casper would be really cool. It's just, they're pretty expensive. I mean, they're upwards of like 500 bucks for a beat up one. Here's the OG DP15 A2K. Um, that'd be really cool. Um, you can see it's cracking there under his finger. He's probably trying to hide it so he can sell it because I know a lot of people do that. Oh, yeah, this would be a real good one to restore. Wow. We'll watch that. So now you guys have a couple gloves in mind. What could be coming pre-owned? Good. <laughs> I wouldn't consider that good condition. I'd consider that rough. Um, Should have never got rid of that glove. <laughs> but, but, yeah, we could find a glove. See, here's a Casper. Um for $750 or best offer so maybe they'll take around 500 or something but I mean it's not in amazing condition but it's definitely not the worst one on here it's actually decent yeah doesn't look like it's even really cracking so that'd be a cool glove to pick up I'm not gonna pay that but I'd probably pay 500 bucks to get a Casper on the channel for you guys and to restore it and whatnot you see this one's a really beat up and uh, it's 575 and I think if I can get this one for under $600 that'd be pretty cool because um, that's kind of like the holy grail of gloves that and that OG DP15 but yeah um so let me know what you guys think of that um what videos do you guys want to see like anything doesn't have to be baseball like i'll do anything right now um with my girlfriend like we can do challenges i can do pranks leave some prank ideas i kind of want to expand the channel i just love filming i mean it doesn't seem like it because i'm on my phone right now but i did when i had my camera and my gopro i just wanted to film everything so please let me know what you guys would like to see i know you guys want baseball and it'll keep coming i just have to wait because i start college baseball next year well I guess it's this year, but it's in the spring. Um, so I definitely do videos of that. But um, yeah, and please go give my other channel, Minnesota Made, some support. Let's go to it right now. Um, 
I want to try to hit a thousand subscribers on there. I'm at like 600 and something. If I hit a thousand, I will do a sick burnout in my car just to stand still burnout and roast my tires right off my car. So if you guys wanna see some cool stuff like that, install videos for your younger people getting into cars, cause you're gonna to have to, <laughs> cause a lot of my audience is younger, but they're gonna, I know a lot of you guys are getting your license soon. And if you wanna find out stuff about cars, how to fix them, just in general, please subscribe to Minnesota Made and um, I'll definitely help you out about that. So I'm gonna log into it here real quick and uh, yeah. So this is Minnesota Made. This is my car channel. Um, actually, let's go to my channel. Yeah, please go give it some love if you guys like to support me and uh, support my channel. If you want to get into cars, I, I do a lot of cool car videos on here. And uh, one of my new camera comes. Uh, here's a hint. It's a Canon. It's a T. It's better than a T5. So, well, it's T5 or better. But uh, yeah, there's my car. Um, I get a lot of hate, but I also get ten times as much love as I get hate for this car you know LS4 Nation on Facebook and stuff 53 V8 but yeah I know you guys this doesn't interest a lot of you but there are some of you out there so please go check it out it's Minnesota made right there I'm at 679 subscribers I want to get to a thousand and I'm gonna do a really awesome burnout for you guys and roast the Tigers um, because it definitely can I'm about 350 horsepower right now it's decent in a 34 3300 pound or three 3300 pound car um, I mean Sorry about that cut, but I think it was like, it's like 35 or 3600 from the factory. I took the spare and everything out like that. You know, I did a little bit of weight reduction. So it's around 3,400 pounds. And, uh, you know, 350 horsepower is a decent amount for that car. And uh, there's a lot of stuff coming. So a lot of fun stuff coming for this car. And a lot of fun baseball videos too. You guys have to stay tuned because I'm waiting on my camera so I can, you know, get videos of, of us hitting at the field and so at softball and stuff. I didn't get a chance to with my GoPro because I had it for all of two weeks and then I lost it. <laughs> but yeah. So definitely like, comment, subscribe guys to both channels. Go over here and give it some love. Give the videos a chance. They're gonna get really good. And uh, let me know what challenges, videos, glove videos you guys wanna see, what glove you think I should buy for a restoration project. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. What's up guys? Today I'm doing an actual, like real thought video on the Kupire custom baseball gloves. So I know I've said I loved them, I've said I've hated them. Well, in reality, they're decent, but they're not good. And I really recommend you don't waste your money on these gloves. So yeah, so I just want to let you guys know that because I've been getting a lot of questions and DMs like, why haven't I shown this? Do I still use it? What about this? So I'm going to make a video over here and then I'm going to do a review of this just because uh, for old time's sakes, I have nothing to do right now. And you guys haven't seen it in a good minute and I've been using it still. So I figured I'd show you guys another review of that and then I'm going to do a house tour so you guys can see that. But getting into it so i mean they have good leather i really do like the leather on this premium this is the 379 dollars glove believe it or not that's the price of this glove here it has every option you can get besides the measurement for your hand because i feel like that doesn't do anything anyways really and uh yeah i mean it comes with really garbage lace garbage quality garbage welting it all feels like cheap rubber uh, the leather is the only good thing about these gloves and uh, I guess the uh, name right there is only $5 extra, which is good. But everything else is bad. Like, the lacing is bad. Like I said, the welting is bad. The padding is incredibly stiff. Like, not a, not even a good stiff. It feels almost like fake. Like, really thick, like, cardboard or something. And, uh, yeah, maybe, like, once it got more broken in. But, I mean, I've, I've used it a little bit. And uh, I, I would pitch with it. It's just, it's really uncomfortable. The lacing is too big. You know how, like, glove manufacturers like Rawlings... They know how to use the thin lace for down in here. Well, they didn't, they use the super thick lace, the same lace they would use up in the web. And it's really hard on your palm and it leaves you like blisters and it's really not good. So that's kind of why I don't even use it because it really gives you blisters. But uh, yeah, so I mean, you could, I guess if you wanted one of these for some reason really bad, you could buy it, strip the lace out and everything like that, put new lacing in it and maybe try and make the binding work. I'm not for sure. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's like for this premium custom right here, like I'd, I'd pay $200 for it, brand new with the cost, everything customized. 
but I would never pay three seventy nine because you can get a brand new Pro Preferred, and uh, you can like order it from like a certain baseball website like Rawlings or something and get your name stitched on the thumb for the same price as this. So, I mean, <laughs> and then this one is a lot better though. This one's a lot better than the premium. I like this one a lot. The weather's good. The binding stuff feels a lot better. It's just the padding, the lacing, and like it just, it just feels cheap. Like. It feels cheap, I don't know. The leather's nice and I like it more than that. I'd pay 200 for this over that. And that's the premium, so that's saying something. Um, it's a little bit less thick of padding, I guess you could say. And I ordered them both the same. I ordered them both with normal padding and not thick. And this one, I'm pretty sure came with thick. Otherwise, that's some pretty crazy normal padding. But uh, this one is actually fun to play catch with and stuff. It doesn't really hurt. It doesn't give you blisters or anything like that. That one does. But uh, yeah, this one's just a decent glove. It's kind of like a rolling custom or something like that. But uh, yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys that. Uh, this one was a decent, decent one. I don't mind this one at all. But I like the look of this one. I just don't like using it because like I said, it hurts my hand and the lace sucks and it's so stiff and not really fun. Like, but this one is. So yeah, that's just an honest opinion of the Capri Customs. I just thought I'd get that out there. I haven't done, said anything about these in a long time. And uh, I think it looks bad when they don't put anything here. Um, this one looks a little better because there's some design. But it looks weird like when there's nothing there. Because like Rawlings has the Rawlings. Wilson has the A2000 or A2K. Um, Mizuno says usually something on one of the fingers. Whether it's Mizuno Pro or something. Uh, this one just said nothing. So it looked kind of bare. So I just had to write my own. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So the next video will be a review of this glove. I have a decent in-depth review and how I like it, how I've liked it for four years, how it's held up, and stuff like that. And then next up, I said, will be a house tour. So definitely stay tuned for that. And uh, here's a sneak peek for your car people if you watch my car channel. Um, well, actually, it's not, you can't see. But uh, that's my eBay watch list. So that is what I'm planning on ordering in the next coming months for my car. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe, guys. Stay tuned for more videos. Please leave me ideas what to make, like what videos to make in the comments below. I have, I got a camera just a cheap one to use for now that I can set up on a stand and stuff. So let me know what you guys want to see. I can't really go hit because I hurt my leg pretty bad and it goes all the way down through my sock and up here and uh, don't really want to do much running right now. But anything else, like any glove videos that you guys want to see, um, just really anything, any videos, like any challenges you want me and my girlfriend to do on camera, we're thinking of a couple like the spicy ramen challenge and uh, maybe a couple other things. So in the Bean Boozle Challenge, if you guys want to see fun stuff like that, please let me know. I'll put it on this channel, or if you guys want to subscribe to Minnesota Made for me to put it on that channel. Either way, let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, guys. Stay tuned for more videos, and I promise some good bangers will be coming out real soon. I promise you that. I ordered a new camera. Hint. <laughs> so here we go.